Other than sickness and job losses, the other victims of this outbreak really are the school kids who've been home for a couple of weeks already, will be home at least until the end of the month, and well, could be off campus the whole rest of the spring, who knows. Sarah Owen, principal at Hilton Head Elementary School, joins us. Sarah, uh, congratulations, first of all, on surviving it this far, yeah. you and your staff and your yeah. teachers. Let's talk about how everyone's faring through all of this. Uh, vacation, I'm sure, has been the last word on anybody's mind the last few weeks. Yeah. Well, you know, the staff and the students left on a Friday, um, and then we found out on that Sunday night mm -hmm. that we couldn't re-enter the building. And so... Um, you know, it's been tough on everyone. The first phase of learning was meant to be review and kind of supplemental practice. But as you know, um, our, uh, we've been slated to not be at the campus for the month of April. So this phase two of learning, which started last week, includes new learning. So okay. the goal is for kids to uh, be engaged in learning this time. Okay, so they are learning, we hope, at home and online. Um, are they getting about as close to real live in the classroom learning as, as they can get? And what are they missing? Well, the, you know, first and foremost, no, it's never going to yeah. uh, replicate the real experience for either the teacher or the students, but we're hoping to do it in a manageable way for the parents and the students at home. Um, part of our plan is to have live um, interactions with the teachers at least twice a week, um, if not more, So, because it's very important for the social and emotional well-being of the students and the teachers sure. to see each other and interact with each other. And that needs to be at first and foremost uh, at the forefront of where our priorities are, is making sure the kids feel safe and engaged and that they are interacting with their peers. So, so the kids are not actually seeing the teachers every day? Well, no, I mean, they, but, they're but seeing them times multiple times yeah. during the week, depending okay. on the age and the schedule, but it, it's on a very regular basis. Um, we do have challenges, though. We have some students that don't have internet access, sure. and as you know, Hargrave and Spectrum have been amazing, and we've been trying to get those services and that information to parents, but, um, but we're doing as best as we can, and we're making sure that our staff interacts with kids on a daily basis. All right, next week is spring break or yeah. was the scheduled spring break is it going to be a spring break for spring everybody? break is still spring break good. starting with this friday yeah, with good, good friday, friday and we it, we are still having spring break so teachers will have a break and students will have a break and i think that's important these last three weeks have been you know stressful for everyone and i think it's important to take a break um and if we have to gear up for additional weeks we'll be ready Okay. Um, yeah, th all the plans are in place, aren't they, for, for having to do that for as long as it takes? Yeah, the school district has been amazing. Um, Dr. Rodriguez has been a, a true leader in making sure that principals know expectations and then uh, that trickles down to the teachers and then obviously the students. Um, but we have a plan in place. They're already talking about if we have to have an extended period of time and possibly the rest of the school year, uh, what would that look like? So the district is already on top of that, asking for our ideas as principals, us giving them feedback. Um, so there w there's a, you know, a plan in place um, for the what ifs that we still don't know the answers to yet. All right. Thank you so much, Sarah. Sarah Owen of Hilton Head Elementary, who, by the way, has a senior who would sure love to get a graduation <laughs> yeah. ceremony in sometime before she goes off to college. We also want to thank Jeremy Clark, Steve Riley, Hannah Horn, and Brian Kynard for their insights. And as always, we thank you for checking us out and taking the time to join us on the Hilton Head News. We'll be checking you out from a distance around our island home this week.